Prince Tokugawa Yoshinobu was the 15th and last shogun of the Tokugawa shogunate of Japan. He was part of a movement which aimed to reform the aging shogunate, but was ultimately unsuccessful. After resigning in late 1867, he went into retirement and largely avoided the public eye for the rest of his life. Tokugawa Yoshinobu was born in Edo as the seventh son of Tokugawa Naliaki, daimyo of Mito. Along with the Owali and the Ki families, the Mito family was one of the Gosanke, albeit the lowest of the three families. Gosanke is the most notable three branches of the Tokugawa clan of Japan, all of which were descended from the clan founder Tokugawa Ieyasu's three youngest sons. The Owali and Ki families were eligible to succeed to the main shogunate should the main Tokugawa family fail to produce an heir. Unfortunately for the Mito family, they could not. So, at the instigation of his father, and after seeing the potential problems with succession within the Gosanke families, Yoshinobu's father agreed to have him adopted by the Hitotsubashi family in order to have a better chance of succeeding to the shogunate. The Hitotsubashi is one of the three alternate families, along with the Shimizu and Tayasu, that produce heirs if the two Gosanke families cannot. He became head of the Hitotsubashi family in 1847, receiving court rank and title, and officially taking the name Yoshinobu. Upon the death of the 13th Shogun, Tokugawa Iesada, in 1858, Yoshinobu was nominated as a potential successor. His supporters promoted his skill and efficiency in managing family affairs. However, the opposing faction led by I Naosuke won out. Their candidate, the 12-year-old Tokugawa Yoshitomi, was chosen and became the 14th Shogun Tokugawa Iemochi. Soon after, I was appointed Taido or Great Elder, and was the shogunate's chief policymaker until Tokugawa Iemochi would become of age to take control. From 1858 to 1860, I led the Ansei Purge, which imprisoned, executed, or exiled those who did not support Tokugawa Iemochi's authority and foreign trade policies. Even though Yoshinobu had no interest in becoming shogun and completely supported shogun Iemochi, I had him and those who supported him placed under house arrest as a perceived threat to the shogun's authority. The period of I's domination of the Tokugawa government was marked by mismanagement and political infighting. By acting like a dictator, he hoped to restore the authority of the shogunate. Without the approval of the emperor, he had the shogunate ratify the Treaty of Amity and Commerce with the United States, also known as the Harris Treaty. This treaty opened the ports of four other Japanese cities to trade and granted extraterritoriality to foreigners, among a number of trading stipulations unequally benefiting the U.S. E's brutality in treaties with foreigners had made him many enemies, and on March 24, 1860, he was assassinated in the Sakula Damon incident by a group of 17 Mito and one Satsuma samurai. The death of E Naosuke started a wave of loyalist terrorism across Japan. Soon, attempts were being made on the lives of other members of the Bakufu and their informants. After I's assassination, Yoshinobu was reinstated as Hitotsubashi family head and was nominated in 1862 to be Shogun Iemochi's guardian. At the same time, his two closest allies, Matsudaira Yoshinaga and Matsudaira Katamori, were appointed to other high positions. Yoshinaga became chief of political affairs, while Katamori was appointed guardian of Kyoto. The three men then took numerous steps to quell political unrest in Kyoto 
and gathered allies to counter the activities of the rebellious Choshu domain. They were instrumental figures in the Kobu Gatai political party, which sought a reconciliation between the shogunate and the imperial court. Under Yoshinobu's request, Katamoli organized a brutal Kyoto police force called the Shinsengumi. The Shinsengumi were ronin troops of the Bakufu charged with maintaining order and peace in the city. The shogunate's failure to keep the foreigners out served as a convenient excuse for opposing the shogun and eventually plotting to overthrow his government. The shogunate's duty was to protect Japan from barbarians and it appeared they could no longer do that. A few domains began to question if the shogun was needed any longer since they weren't living up to their purpose. The most vocal and disobedient domain was Choshu. In 1864, the Choshu rebels sought to take control of the emperor in Kyoto to restore the imperial household to its position of political supremacy. However, Yoshinobu, as commander of the imperial palace's defense, defeated the Choshu forces in what is called the Kimon Incident. This resulted in the first Choshu expedition of 1864 led by the Tokugawa shogunate to punish the Choshu domain, make them fall back in line, and to use them as an example for the resurgence of Tokugawa dominance. After the death of Tokugawa Iemochi in 1866, Japan went without a shogun for over 150 days. While agreeing to be the head of the Tokugawa family, Yoshinobu continually rejected the nomination to become shogun because he believed the shogunate political system was no longer of use and could not survive in the modern world. However, after much pleading by his supporters, Yoshinobu finally and reluctantly accepted the nomination. Yoshinobu was chosen and became the 15th and final shogun. He was the only Tokugawa shogun to spend his entire tenure outside of Edo. He never set foot in Edo Castle as shogun. Immediately upon Yoshinobu's ascension, major changes were initiated. A massive government overhaul was undertaken to initiate reforms that would strengthen the Tokugawa government. In particular, assistance from the Second French Empire was organized with the construction of the Yokosuka Arsenal under Léon Sverny and the dispatch of a French military mission to modernize the armies of the Bakufu. The National Army and Navy, which had already been formed under Tokugawa command, were strengthened by the assistance of the Russians and the Tracy mission provided by the British Royal Navy. Equipment was also purchased from the United States. The outlook among many was that the Tokugawa shogunate was gaining ground towards renewed strength and power. Fearing the renewed strengthening of the Tokugawa shogunate under a strong and wise ruler, samurai from Satsuma, Choshu, and Tosa formed an alliance to counter it. Many considered Tokugawa Yoshinobu as the rebirth of Ieyasu, meaning one who would continue to usurp the power of the emperor. The three powerful domains worked to bring about an end to the shogunate, though they varied in their approaches. In particular, Tosa was more moderate. It proposed a compromise whereby Yoshinobu would resign as shogun, but preside over a new national governing council composed of various daimyo. To this end, Yamauchi Toyoshige, the daimyo of Tosa, together with his advisor, Goto Shojilo, petitioned Yoshinobu to resign in order to make this possible. On November 9, 1867, Yoshinobu agreed to the terms and tendered his resignation to the emperor, and formally stepped down ten days later, returning all governing power to the emperor. He then withdrew from Kyoto to Osaka. However, Satsuma and Choshu, while supportive of a governing council of daimyo, unlike Tosa, were opposed to Yoshinobu leading it. They secretly obtained an imperial edict calling for the use of force against Yoshinobu, 
which was later shown to be a forgery. They moved a massive number of Satsuma and Choshu troops into Kyoto. There, they called a meeting at the imperial court, where Yoshinobu was stripped of all titles and land, despite having taken no action that could be construed as aggressive or criminal. Anyone who would have opposed these penalties on Yoshinobu was not included in the meeting. Leaders from Satsuma and Choshu wanted the Tokugawa family destroyed. Up to this point, Yoshinobu had been completely cooperative with the new government of Japan. However, he opposed this action and composed a message of protest to be delivered to the imperial court. In light of the immense number of Satsuma and Choshu troops in Kyoto, Yoshinobu dispatched a large body of troops to convey this message to the court. When the Tokugawa forces arrived outside Kyoto, they were refused entry and were attacked by Satsuma and Choshu troops, starting the Battle of Toba Fushimi, the first clash of the Boshin War. Though the Tokugawa forces had a distinct advantage in numbers, Yoshinobu abandoned his army in the midst of the fight once he realized the Satsuma and Choshu forces raised the imperial banner. Seeing that the Satsuma and Choshu troops were backed by the emperor, and rather than being seen as a rebel against the emperor, he escaped to Edo. He placed himself under voluntary confinement and indicated his submission to the imperial court. On April 11, 1868, Katsukaishu, under the request of Yoshinobu, negotiated the surrender of Edo Castle to Saigo Takamoli, preventing a potential costly and bloody war. Yoshinobu moved to Shizuoka with Tokugawa Iesato, the newly appointed head of the Tokugawa family. Iesato was made the daimyo of the new Shizuoka domain, but lost this title a few years later when the domains were abolished. Many of the high-ranking samurai in the direct service of the Tokugawa shogunate also relocated to Shizuoka, and a large portion of them did not find adequate means to support themselves. As a result, Many of them resented Yoshinobu, some of them to the point of wanting him dead. Yoshinobu was aware of this and was so afraid of assassination that he redesigned his sleeping arrangements to confuse any potential assassin. Living a life in quiet retirement, Yoshinobu indulged in many hobbies, including oil painting, archery, hunting, photography, and cycling. In 1902, the Meiji Emperor allowed him to re-establish his own house as a Tokugawa branch with the highest rank in the peerage, that of Prince, for his loyal service to Japan. He took a seat in the House of Peers, resigning in 1910. Tokugawa Yoshinobu died on November 21, 1913. Many people from both sides of the war resented Yoshinobu, from those that lost their privilege to those that wanted it. But later in the Meiji era, many could look back with greater perspective and imagine what could have happened if Yoshinobu had not peacefully handed over Tokugawa power. They later believed that the greatest contributor to the establishment of the Meiji government was none other than Tokugawa Yoshinobu.